Welcome back to your channel guys, we're going to do a movie review for Alien 3 that came out in 1992 from David Fincher. Well, he kind of finished the movie, he didn't really start it. But yeah, we're going to be leading up to Alien Ramos that will be coming out the 16th. I did a movie review already for the original Alien and the sequel to Aliens. And after this, we'll be doing Alien Resurrection. Alien vs Predator 1 and 2 Prometheus and Covenant. So if you liked all this stuff, well, like, subscribe, and you guys know how this stuff works. So let's jump right into it. Is this heaven? No. Iowa. This is really, we all know, we can all say from the get that this movie is definitely a drop down from the first movie. We all know that for a fact, but this movie is really debatable between people liking it, not liking it. Me, I'm the guy that likes this movie. I can go back and watch Alien 3 10 times more than I can watch Alien Resurrection. And I'm gonna get into the Resurrection next video. But Alien 3, the fact that they really changed it up. And yes, I get why a lot of people do not like this movie for some obvious reasons. You're killing off Newt and Hicks from the end of Aliens. Like they went through all of that just to kill them off. And they they don't learn their lesson too because they end up doing that in Covenant. Because in Covenant, they kill off Shaw off screen. And it's like they do not deserve that. And right there off the get, it's like, damn, dude. Uh, but this movie was in production hell for a long time. There's so many different scripts before this different directors David Fincher when he came in It was just a hot mess and he would go after and make seven right after this he did Zodiac the Fight Club the social You know social network the Facebook movie And he did that my hunter season one and two on Netflix So this guy knows what he's doing, but he came in in just a hot mess, but I love this movie for many reasons but yes again it's not up there with alien aliens but let's get into it so cgi that was definitely one of the things that i wasn't a fan of this movie because you know this came out in 92 so cgi was very early stages because Jurassic park was you know not too far away and it's also they do a lot of stop motion stop motion capturing i think that's how you say it it just stuck out like a sore thumb because what made the first two movies amazing was the fact that Stan Winston did the practical effects, the puppeting. It looks amazing. But when you get into that CGI stop motion graphics, it's just, it just throws me off. It really does. And I know some people aren't a fan of this whole prison thing. I don't mind at all. It's different. Ripley being a prison full of guys. It just is a different element. The acting in this movie, I think, in my opinion, saved this movie because the acting was amazing there's a lot of good acting in this movie like charles dance even though he dies early again that was another mislead in this franchise but no there's really great acting because there's a lot of there's some faces in here where they're very familiar but there's some faces where you never seen again but it's like okay that's actually pretty good acting that's not bad at all so i don't mind that there's just one scene that scares the shit out of me and it always will it's that scene with the candles and it slowly blows off one by one by one. And us audience, we know the reason why that's happening. Because there's something getting closer and closer and closer. But the people in the screen, they're like, oh, must be the wind. Must be a draft. And we're like, uh, don't go in there. Like in the original Halloween movie, when Lori Strode starts walking across the street to go to Annie's house. Us audience were like, no, 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 no. Don't go in there. Because what us audience know and then the character on the screen knows is terrifying because we can't help them, we can't stop them, but we're just gonna like, this is gonna suck for them. If I can just borrow you guys time for 20 seconds, this is not a sponsor, this is about children that need our help. These are children that have cancer, leukemia, all the bad stuff and it's kill. I'm from Iowa, we have a children hospital and you watch any of the Iowa football games during the first quarter, we do the Iowa wave, the children in the hospital, they deserve all the stuff. And I just wanna say guys in the description box below, I have a link for description where you can donate and that's all i want to say guys because i absolutely love iowa and i love what they're doing with the iowa children so please if you have money and you want to donate go to the description box give it to give it to them do not give it to me i get it why a lot of people also don't like the color pattern in this because it's like dark green brown and black it's just it's just depressing it really is because it's something like james gunn would not do james gunn is all about the colors and the guardians of the galaxy really blew that up but I get that because you need you need to feel more alive and it's just like i just want to take a shower after i watch this movie so i get that it is a lot slower pace than the first two movies and it takes them a minute but once it gets going it gets going and i think this movie has one of the what a great act to it act three really was the highlight of the movie 
and I loved the ending. I love the ending. It's ended on a great note where, you know, Lance Hitcherson comes back as Bishop, but he's the human part. And he does that whole speech to Ripley. Ripley, think of all we can learn from it. It's the chance of a lifetime. You must let me have it. It's a magnificent specimen. Be like, we need to save, you know, save the baby. Ripley's like, fuck you, I'm, I'm going to die. And then they, sh they show the whole person getting shut off door by door by door. That was again like Halloween at the very end where you see like every scene that played out and you just hear that voice of like the breathing of Michael. Same with how with uh, Alien 3. They show the ending as all the scenes they've been in and they just slowly shut, 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 shut. And I would absolutely love to come back to this at some point in time. It really sucks that they killed off Hitch because Michael Bain, he even said he wanted to come back. And when he found out that they killed him off he was so mad that he wouldn't use he wouldn't let the studio use him you know like to make a body double as you know like you know when you're a cast but eventually michael bain came to his senses and he got more money from doing alien 3 than he did in aliens the second movie that's pretty smart in my opinion if you guys seen the movie reign of fire you know the whole dragons with kristen bale draw butler and michael matthew mcconaughey that color pattern, that production set, reminds me exactly of this movie. I think the fact that they actually captured the Xenomorphs and they got it stuck, it's like, dude, you actually did it. And of course, he finds a way out. And the fact that Ripley finally got pregnant, she finally got caught by the Xenomorph, it's only a matter of time. Because this is going to be a third horror movie. Like, you're going to get it eventually. It's like in Scream, like, you know, Sydney's going to die eventually because there's no way you're going to survive all these ghost face killers like eventually you're gonna die so it's nice that this was supposed to be a, a proper send-off for ripley but of course we know she came back in resurrection but they paid her a lot of money so i don't blame her but it i really wish this was the end for ripley i really wish they didn't bring her back in resurrection but that'd be my next video so yeah this is my movie review for alien 3 and just remember guys go hawks